Cloud computing is something that you may have heard uh, a little bit about. Tonight I'd like to look a little bit at Ubuntu One, which is now an integrated portion of the Ubuntu operating system. You know that uh, over the past several months it's been uh, being tested and you could install it on your system and you could try it out. But now you'll actually find that it is a menu option on your computer system if you're running Ubuntu uh, 9.04. You'll see like even the icon set has been updated. Everything is kind of a little bit more beautiful. Uh, a little easier on the eyes, I find. Uh, the color scheme is nice. Uh, but if you look on your internet menu, we now have a link for specifically Ubuntu One, which wasn't there before unless you installed it yourself. So clicking on that, let's see what happens and go from there. I haven't installed it on this computer, so it's going to be an experience for us tonight. I got a cloud. It gave me a cloud. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Little cloud icon up at the top there. Neat. It's taking me over to Ubuntu One and asking for my Launchpad ID. Of course, this is a free service. If you want to use the, the free version, you get two gigabytes of storage space. We're going to get into what this does in just a few moments, so you'll understand all this uh, in just a minute if you haven't heard of Ubuntu One. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enter my email address because I already have a Launchpad account. If you don't, you can just create one right there on that screen as well that it, uh, that it gives you. Now, the first time that you access Ubuntu One, it's going to ask you, do you want to confirm access? Now, the, the name that it puts in here, Demo, that's the name of the computer that I'm currently using. This is our demo computer, so that's what it's called. That will be the name of your computer. So I'm going to add this computer, and it's going to give me access to my Ubuntu One account. So essentially, what this is going to do for me, if you have multiple computers, if you have a laptop, for example, that you take to and from different locations, if you've got a work computer and a home computer that you want to be able to share files with in a, in a unique way, Ubuntu One allows you to basically save to what looks like hard drive space. So you'd actually just you know, save a picture into this folder or save a file into this folder, and it will give you that file on any of your computers that are connected with your Ubuntu One system. So now that I'm logged in, I can see really quickly that I've got a couple of different, uh, different files that I uploaded as a test, a folder that I created. But now if I go, now th remember that I just set this up on my computer now. So this stuff here was added on a different computer. Now if I go places up at the top here and go down to my Ubuntu One, which has just been added since I just activated the service, you'll see that I've got some folders that are starting to populate. And that is going to actually synchronize with that remote location. So now any files that I put into this folder, the Ubuntu One folder, are going to automatically synchronize to the server and going to automatically uh, be synchronized to each individual computer where I have my Ubuntu One account set up. So now I'm connected to, um, to Ubuntu One. You'll see that these files are starting to populate on my system. So now everything that was on just the server is actually uh, been copied. It's been copied to my local computer. So now if I create a folder here or whatever I want to do, I'll call this my pictures. So now I've created a folder called pictures. You'll see that the cloud pops up and it says it's updating and updating has finished. What that means is that it's now synchronized to the remote location. And sometimes what happens is, is that it doesn't, you won't actually see it. So in a demonstration, it's, it's maybe not going to show up right on the screen right then because the synchronization process means that the server gets updated with the information and then it distributes it uh, to each individual computer. But let's see what happens if I just quickly log back in here. You can think about uh, how, how useful this could be with, you know, if you, if you use different applications, uh, if you share files with uh, other people in the house, whether it be, you know, whatever it could be. It could sure. be your pictures, it could be uh, documents that you're editing with somebody. And there are sharing features as well that you can actually share files between uh, different users, which is another cool feature. <laughs> but you'll, you'll really like to kind of look around Ubuntu One, get, get uh, familiar with it, and, and see how it can work for you. Uh, beyond synchronizing your files, now remember that I just created that pictures folder. So that pictures folder is now on all of my computers that have Ubuntu One running uh, with that account. So I don't have to go around to each computer and, and add that or copy that or put it on a flash drive and move it back and forth. I don't have to do that anymore. It's all automated, completely automated. If you look at my Ubuntu One website, this is my web panel, you'll see that that pictures folder actually exists now. It's been uh, synchronized with my local computer. 
and there it is. So now, again, if I go in there and I drag and drop some photos in there, it's going to automatically distribute it over the secure connection to Ubuntu One and then over a secure connection to all of my computers uh, that have that account set up. So very cool. Beyond that, with Ubuntu One, again, a feature that is that comes with uh, Ubuntu 9.10 and gives you free two gigabytes of storage space on, on the Ubuntu One server, mm -hmm. you're able to also synchronize your contacts. Now, the web uh, end of things, you can, you can actually, you know, you can, even without a, an Ubuntu One connected computer, you can access those files. You can access the folders. You can access your contacts. You can do all that stuff from any computer just by going to https colon slash slash one dot ubuntu dot com. You can add contacts. You can view contacts and things like that. And what that actually does is it allows you to synchronize your contacts with the evolution application, which is also included uh, in your Ubuntu installation. So if I bring up evolution up here, I click on contacts, and you'll see over on the left-hand side, we have Ubuntu One. It's going to automatically, now first things, it's going to ask me for my password if I want to allow it to access my keyring. And once it's synchronized, when I click on Ubuntu One, it's going to have all of my contacts that are currently in Ubuntu One. So again, add a contact on any computer that's got Ubuntu One installed, and I'm able to then access that from any computer. So I can be anywhere. That's I could be amazing. Yeah, I could be on my laptop computer and, and on the road, and I've got mobile internet, and I pull up Ubuntu One, or you know, whether it be through Evolution, or even if I just go to the website, create a new contact because someone calls me up and says, okay, here's my phone number, and I can add it to that, and then it automatically goes to my home computer, automatically goes to my work computer. And this is, I think, where computing is starting to go. And you've heard, like I say, cloud computing is an interesting thing uh, that, that you sort of hear being talked about here and there. And we haven't really talked about it much on the show because it hasn't been accessible to the end user as much as it's becoming now. But I think what happens is, you know, here we've got an opportunity to use something like a netbook with a very, very tiny solid state hard drive, so it's super fast, but it doesn't have a lot of storage capacity. Well, you can store your files on something like Ubuntu One. It's a remote server, and you just synchronize the files as you need them. Uh, you're able to synchronize all that stuff, or you don't even have to synchronize them. You can just access them directly through your web browser as well. So pretty interesting stuff. A few clues wanted to point out that anything over 2 gigs is $10 a month. Well, you can jump up to 50 gigs. But again, we're not using this for storage. We're not going to be using this for your mass amounts of files. This is not an ongoing you know, accumulation of files like your local hard drive is. What this is, if used properly and if used cleverly, is going to be a, a usability thing for you. It's going to be something that allows you to have access to those really crucial project files that you're working on right now. Uh, the files that you need access to on an ongoing basis during a project is, is a perfect example. Uh, contacts, of course, are not going to take up a lot of space at all. But when it comes to the actual files, you could be working with a client, so you create a folder for that client on Ubuntu One, you drag the files in, and you access them from any computer, work on them, go to their office, pull it up on their computer through the website, and uh, it's all secure connection and all that. So um, then when you're done, when you're done the project, when it's all said and done, you drag that onto your local system, throw it on your network attached storage, your Unraid box, something like that, uh, and you could, because you no longer need that mobility. Uh, but here's an opportunity for you to have access to that stuff from all over the place. 